So good morning everybody. Right now I'm just about to call my vet's office to see if I can book Cleo and Lola an appointment to get their RHDV vaccines. Um, my vet clinic just recently got the vaccine in um, and it's a really important one to get your rabbits if you have it available to you. So I have to do that um, and then afterwards I'm going to be doing a little bit of shopping. Hi, I wanted to book my rabbit's vaccine for the RHDV shot. Yeah, that works. Okay, thank you so much. All right, great. So they have their appointment um, on the 20th at 12 p.m. All right, I got the phone calls part done. Now I have to go shopping. So while I was shopping, I figured that I would pick the cats up. These little Christmas cat toys. They have a lot of cat toys, but they don't have anyone for Christmas. And I thought they were cute. They have catnip in them and the middle one says it jitters. So, oh my gosh, of course. Of course you're already at it. <laughs> you like it? You like the string? <laughs> of course you like that one. Oh, whoa, whoa. Crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh, JJ. Nothing moved. <laughs> oh. oh, are you just gonna, you're just gonna leave with it? Come back. He really loves it, oh my gosh. Oh, under the Christmas tree? So I'm really excited. We have a 101 Rabbits package here. So let's open up and see what's inside. All right, first of all, this isn't part of it. This is just their packaging, but it's just plain brown paper. And I love ripping this up, crumpling it, and then just throwing it in the room. The rabbit's like shredding it. So there you go. Oh my goodness. They are gonna freaking love this stuff. All right. So the first thing I see is the Binky Bunny um, little candy canes. You guys, look, what are these? Oh, then there is a Binky Bunny Willow ring. So they have some of these, but they needed a new one. Then we also have some of the Binky Bunny just Willow balls. <laughs> Are you guys interested? What is that? And then we have here, what is this? This is a Christmas garland. Oh, this is really cute. So you could just hang this honestly anywhere inside of their area. So I think I might hang this on their Toki castle or something. What do you think about this? You're staring at it. And last but not least, we have some of the 101 Rabbits Rose Hips. Look at these! Oh. So if you're interested in getting any of these products, I will make sure to link them down below.
So a couple of weeks ago I showed you setting up my gr indoor grow center for veggies and stuff. And uh, because this thing has a light that goes on, I think it's either 13 or 16 hours. It's a really long time. It shines really bright. So I needed a cover. So my mom made one. And since putting this cover on, I literally haven't checked what they look like because that's the convenient part of this grow center. You don't have to do anything. So, oh, <laughs> all right. So it's, it's, um, there's a lot of veg going on here. I think tonight we will try this out with like the hamsters and kind of see how they like it. I'm sure they'll love it. So it's that time of the year where I unbox the Christmas hamster mail subscription box. This year is going to have a little bit of a twist because I did talk to the company and I have so many hamster products already and I really don't need any more. We've decided that this box that I'm going to be showing you today is actually going to be getting donated to a Canadian pet rescue. So the rescue that I've chosen to donate this box to is going to be All Creatures Rescue located in Toronto. So let's check out what's inside the box. Now, of course, we have all of our paper. There's always so much. The first thing that I am going to just take a look at is the subscription box itself because there are plenty of add-ons that you can add on to your Christmas box. All right, let's see what's inside the Christmas box. Dun, 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 dun. Aww, oh my gosh. Look at the little Christmas card. <laughs> oh my gosh, this stuff looks so cute. So the first thing inside of the box we have is the Cupid and Comet Woven Star Trio. Okay, this is actually really, really cute. I love this. Sadie. Are you doing this stuff? The next thing inside of the box is just the Cupid and Comet wooden tile gnaw tree. This thing is so cute too. I love putting, I actually have one of these and I hang this inside of their cage usually. Next up, I see some of the reindeer popcorn. So this just has popcorn, carrot, and parsnip. The last thing that I see inside of here is just the festive forage wreath. This is really large. So this just has some grass, marigold, cornflowers, cranberries, aronia berries. So this is actually <laughs> really neat. And then of course we have our little novelty Santa hat for taking little Christmas photos, as well as our novelty elf hat for taking Christmas photos. You guys may remember the photos that I took last year with Mabel and Dipper in their little hats. Adorable. Then inside of the box, we have our add-on items. So the first add-on item I see is the Nature First Tiki Hut. So this is very cute. Then we have, oh my goodness. Oh, this one is so cute. So this is the Cupid and Comet Tree Snuffle Forage Mat. Forage mats are really awesome. They're great for rabbits and hamsters and other small animals. You can sprinkle treats inside of here. This one is so cute. It's literally a Christmas tree and then up here it has like, you could stick treats in that. I love this. Next, I see this Christmas pudding platter. This just has parsley stalks, cranberries, and desiccated coconut. My hamsters always really like this. Next, I wonder what this is. Oh, so this is the Rosewood Naturals Festive Fruit Tree. So you can just give this as a little treat. Don't give it to them entirely. Um, I actually would just break pieces off of it and give it to my hamsters. And the last thing I see is inside of a box. Oh, what is this? Oh my gosh, this is adorable. <gasps> the last thing is this really adorable carrot ceramic dish. This is, uh, this is adorable. So that is everything that you can get with your Christmas hamster mail subscription box. They are available until the 21st to order. So make sure that you get your orders in and I will make sure to leave the link in the description bar below. Sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to tell you about our sponsor, Base Paws. Base Paws is a cat DNA test that allows you to learn more about your cat's origins, which can then tell you more about their temperament, personality, traits, and hereditary genetic health conditions. When I tested Sadie and JJ, I was really curious to know what breed groups they'd be a part of because of where they came from. 
Sadie is 75% Western with Maine Coon being the highest breed, which explains a lot of her weird behaviors. I also felt a lot of relief to know neither of the cats are carriers of any genetic health conditions, but this feature can help other cat owners to be proactive if their cat is a carrier of any. Now back to the video. So it's actually 7.20 p.m. and the first one awake is Waddles. I don't know if you can see him. Waddles. There you go. Hi. Oh, is that fresh from the garden? Wow. So Waddles is doing really, really well. Actually, one thing I forgot is Last month, November, Waddles actually turned two years old. But yeah, Waddles is officially two years old. Um, honestly, I think Waddles personally is um, immortal because he has not changed at all since I've gotten him. I genuinely think he's gonna live an extremely long time, which is great. You're also probably gonna notice that Waddle's portions of Veg are definitely a lot smaller than the Syrians. Um, he's he's 10 times tinier than them. So yeah, that's, that's why. He's definitely enjoying the Veg though. I'm so happy. Do you wanna try Swiss chard next? You are really munching on that Veg. Yeah, Swiss chard. Oh. I'm kind of impressed that Waddles is the first one awake between the Syrians because the Syrians usually come out pretty early, but lately they haven't been as much. I think once they kind of get used to time change, they they like realize they're like, oh, I'm not gonna come out until really late so usually now it's like dippers away no it's waddles dipper and then mabel mabel kind of takes her sweet time oh oh all right goodbye oh my goodness you like your veg <laughs> mabel's actually been doing pretty decent um she has gained more weight and that's really really good she just has been coming out a little bit later as i mentioned but other than that, she seems to be doing pretty good. Hey, you ate that veg. Oh. Mabel, you're like falling asleep while trying to eat the veg. <laughs> I don't know if I explained earlier which veggies these are, but it's just arugula, red leaf lettuce, romaine lettuce, and then some Swiss chard. And they all seem to be enjoying it so far, so I'm happy about that. Oh, look how sleepy you are. <laughs> you didn't try the, nope. <laughs> I actually tried the arugula and I don't know how anybody could like arugula. I think it takes, tastes absolutely atrocious. So um, I don't really blame Maple for um, skipping that arugula because I think it's disgusting. <laughs> Oh, she's gonna eat it. Okay, I take that back. She actually, she likes the arugula as well. <laughs> All right, so last but certainly not least is Mr. Dipper. It's now 8.33. So let's see if he likes the veg. <laughs> oh my goodness, so excited. I love the way Dipper eats and he tucks his ears so much that it just looks like he has no ears. And what, like look at his mouth. Oh my goodness. You have the cutest mouth. As for his nails, we have been cutting about one a day. So if you notice that they're still a little long, it's been, um. A struggle. Another thing I've noticed with his nails is they they've just gotten really thick. Like when I cut them, it's just extremely thick nails, thicker than I've ever seen before, and I'm not sure why, but it's very odd to me. I know a lot of people wanted <laughs> to me to show how to cut 
nails. Um, I can't do that. It's just way too difficult to keep him still and in frame at the same time and film it. Like, it's impossible. Why are you so cute, sir? Like, look how cute you are. Are you sleepy? Everybody's so sleepy. Oh, he's so sleepy. After Dipper's done eating his veg, I'm gonna try to clip one nail. We'll see if we can get that done. But I am gonna end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing everybody and I will see you in my next video. Bye.